What's going on? This is Charlie from Exclusive Auto Works. Um, today, we're doing a full PPF on this 2023 Honda Civic Type R. Before I start laying film, I'm gonna go over the prep process. So that's gonna include any disassembly I have to do, uh, the wash, uh, the whole prep. So yeah, I'll get started on that soon. And then, like I said, it is getting full PPF. So the whole thing from head to toe is gonna be getting covered. So first, as usual, I got my wash bucket here. Um, all it is is just filtered water, and then I'm going to be using CarPro Reset as the soap, which is right over there. Uh, just a splash of that to make my wash mixture. So I just take the soap and add a little splash. I've also already got my tack ready. This is just filtered water, again, in a coffee heater, and I've always found that hot water is a good tack just because it makes the material more malleable and it really lets the glue adhere. Um, and for my slip, it is filtered water and Johnson's baby soap or shampoo. That has been the best soap that I found that works for installing PPF. So then I just grab the pressure washer and just give it a little blast just to foam up the water. So I'm not gonna get too much footage of the wash because it's very simple. Um, I'm just gonna rinse down the car now with the water first and take a microfiber in the bucket, put the soap, and just scrub the whole thing. After that, we're gonna take a claim it and that is gonna prep the paint for the film. So right now I'm just doing a little bit of disassembly. Um, I have to take the door card off to get to the door handles. On this car, the door handles don't come off without taking this apart. Some cars are just like that. So right now I have the like window buttons popped out and I just gotta remove this clip or this harness. It's gonna be hard to see, but there we go. There's just a tab here. Push that down. And this harness should come out just like that. So now this is a loose piece. I'll put that away. There's also a screw right here that I have to take out. So I'm gonna get that. All right. After that, oh, I should be able to just start prying this off. So I'm gonna try up here first. All right, so that's loose. Now I'm just gonna slowly go around the perimeter and start prying this off. Slides are done now. I just gotta make sure the top is good. that I gotta take out. Here we go. Shouldn't be able to get this out too without cutting it. Just like that. All right, now the door card's off. All right, so now I'm just taking off this inner liner. So there was this little clip here. I just took that out. Now I just gotta peel this back. There's a lot of silicone though, so. You know what, I'm gonna throw on gloves real quick. All right, so then there was just this white tab. It was over here on the left. I just flipped it to the right. And now that'll release the whole handle. So I'm just gonna come over here. And this should just come out. There we go. And the reason why I take the door handle out is because now I can get full coverage in this whole area where if the door handle was in and I used a pre-cut, it would have an ugly line right here where the seam would be. And then there's just one screw in here that you have to loosen in order to take this piece out. So this was just back here. Yeah, once you take that out, and the seal 
be able to come out as well. And now we have a perfectly prepped door. And I also spray the top of the film because it acts like a lubricant for when you have a squeegee. So again, this one. And I'm trying to not get it on the actual hood. I'm just getting it on the piece that's touching the fender. So once that's got tack on it, give it a little bit of a stretch. This hood doesn't need that much, so that should be good. Just nail this down. And now you can see the whole thing is perfectly glassed. So now all I have to do is just squeeze it. Middle. I'm overlapping every time I squeeze you, so. And I like to go over everything again, just in case I left anything behind. I'll make sure that it's out. So I can see right here in the middle, nothing, we don't need any film over here, so I can make a cut here. And this could continue all the way through here because, just like that. And now I'm just gonna tack down the spots that are tempting like this. So, open this, just do a little bit of tack in there. I'm gonna take my small squeegee. I find the small squeegee works better for situations like this. And just get that down as much as it'll go. And I'll just keep repeating the process until it fully goes down.
sometimes I like to use my fingers on really curvy parts just to make sure that I'm really getting all the water out. All right, so I just gotta do that around the whole thing. So for the edges and the corners, this is what I like to do. I like to leave tabs for all the corners so I can pull it good. So I'm gonna start the cut here. And this is on the paint for now, so you have to be very careful. Keep going. And once I get to the open, I can poke the blade through. And what I like to do is I hold the blade this way so I have my middle finger in between the panel and the knife. And I'm kind of holding the, the knife like a pen. So if I do that, I use my middle finger as a guide. And this cut should be pretty much the same, uh, same length all the way around. Sometimes you can use your other hand to kind of pull the excess film downwards and it makes the cut a little easier and then you can grab it too if you need to all right and then we're getting close to the fender again so i'm just gonna score it now and then i swing it outwards for the top Double check this cut. All right. like that so I have a little tab here now all right so for the corners I like to lift up this little tab that we made um, spread the entire piece. I'm just gonna use my finger to squeeze this down to make sure it shouldn't lift up anymore. It's stuck now right at the edge. And then I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna fold it behind that, you can see. So now they got it behind like that. I'm gonna take my blade and go right underneath the corner. all the edges with tack and then fold them underneath. 